we'll have more such cases. We must take action. Accordingly, about an hour ago, I signed a new set of emergency regulations which will become effective at midnight tonight to help us slow the spread of coronavirus in Dallas. Under these new regulations, community gatherings in Dallas will be restricted to no more than 50 people. The city of Dallas is also ordering the closing of all bars, lounges, taverns, nightclubs, gyms and health clubs, theaters, and entertainment or amusement venues such as arcades and billiard halls. Restaurants for now may remain open for drive-through, delivery, and takeout service. Dine-in service, however, will be prohibited. Our city manager, T.C. Broadnax, will explain more of the intricacies momentarily. But what all of this means is that as of right now, Dallas has the most aggressive rules of all the major cities in Texas for minimizing and slowing the spread of COVID-19. We're taking these actions now because our core responsibility as a government is to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of our residents. And public health has been at the core of our discussions over the last 24 hours. We made this decision in consultation with healthcare professionals. We received advice from the leaders of our hospitals and from Dr. Wong at Dallas County Health and Human Services, which is the city's contracted public health authority. In addition, we've looked to national experts and have received new guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The message that we've heard has been consistent. Act early, act aggressively, act in the interest of public health first. Flatten the curve of this spread and lives will be spared. I want to be clear. While most cases of the coronavirus are mild, what we have seen across the world is that this disease is more lethal than the seasonal flu. When I took the step last week of issuing a disaster declaration, I told all of you that the economic consequences of this action were not lost on me. These further restrictions weighed heavily on me as well, because I understand the pain that this decision is going to cause. Dallas has a robust and diverse economy that has grown in recent years. We have world-class event venues, theaters, and entertainment options in this city. I love to tell people who are from out of town that Dallas is the reigning Bon Appetit restaurant city of the year. We're proud of our service industry and of our vibrant and diverse economy. But this is the time that we have to focus on the greatest asset we have in this city, and that is our people and our communities. Your city government is taking the steps that it deems necessary to flatten the curve of this global pandemic and to save lives.